Example four, describe the process of cell fractionation. Okay, cell fractionation has three steps. The first is homogenization. In this step, the cells are broken apart, but it's done in such a way that the organelles are not damaged. The second step is to spin the homogenate. So the homogenate is a liquid that contains the various parts of the cells in it. Spinning the homogenate is going to result in a pellet at the bottom of the tube and a supernatant suspended on top. The supernatant is poured off, spin the homogenate, and then pour off supernatant into another tube. Spin that tube. Pour off that supernatant, spin that tube, and keep going at faster and faster speeds to separate out lighter and lighter organelles. So this is called this process of pouring off the supernatant, spinning it, pouring it off, raising the speed is called differential centrifugation. And it allows you to separate out these uh, parts of the cell by which pellet they sediment into. Why is it useful in the study of cells? Well, cell fractionation separates organelles into different pellets. The early pellets, those are ones that were spun, the tube was spun at a lower speed. Those are going to be heavier items. The later pellets, the ones that were spun very fast in order to get them to sediment, are very light. They're things like mitochondria and ribosomes. So that concludes this section of educator.com, our discussion of the differences between the major cell types. See you again.